Hong Kong's property market, meanwhile, shows signs of decline. That's according to government data and Centerline Property Index, which is the city's widely used residential property index. Analysts expect an additional decline this year. Our reporter Zhu Dan has this report from Hong Kong. Hong Kong's home prices are among the highest in the world, but it's seen a decline in recent months. These secondary property units were placed in the market over a week. The sales volume is okay, but not as good as last year, says Raymond Lee, who works for the city's leading property agency. Interest rates are raised and the mortgage is higher. Secondly, on average, Hong Kong prices are too high for average people in Hong Kong. It will take up 20 years of people's income. Those signs suggesting Hong Kong property is in the bubbling territory and is probably going to burst the face. Lee said new home sales in the city are also feeling the crunch. This month, new home transactions only average 73 sales, but the highest monthly average is usually more than 500, with the lowest near 300. Actually, the property transactions fell 12 percent in 2015, according to the government data showed earlier this month. The Centerline Property Agency also reports that home prices have dropped nearly 10 percent since September, and January monthly sales fell to the lowest since at least 1991. Due to property market decline, many buyers are waiting to purchase a home, leaving some smaller property agencies to close their doors because of weak sales. This year, Sang Hong Kai Properties placed new units on the market, which is 15 percent lower than the units launched in the same district last year. And Hong Long Properties Limited, which reported full-year 2015 earnings last month, said it had sold just 63 apartments and some car parking spaces. Company profit plunged 57 percent. People are not buying in anticipation of um, interest rate hike from the U.S. and because, it, uh, because of the monetary board here in Hong Kong, uh, basically uh, the Fed is a de facto central bank. And secondly, um, on average, uh, Hong Kong price has risen substantially in the past five years since the uh, 2009 uh, recovery. So those are some of the signs suggesting that uh, Hong Kong property market has been in a, a bubbly territory and now, you know, it, it's probably going into a correction phase. Hong Kong adds that prices could be down 50 percent from the peak. Investment bank UBS forecast earlier last month that Hong Kong home prices would fall by as much as a quarter by the end of 2017. Adding to the bleak forecast, Raymond Lee expects a 10 to 15 percent decline this year as well. Zhu Dan, CCTV, Hong Kong.